You know, a big part of social life in West Michigan has been missing for many due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but beer festivals are back. And Scott Graham from the Michigan Brewers Guild joins us this morning with some details for those thirsting for some good times. Hi, Scott. How are you? I'm doing great this morning. Good morning and thanks for having me on to talk about, uh, I guess it's kind of an alternative plan for what we'd normally be doing in the summertime, but we're uh, really looking forward to seeing everybody live and in person and having a nice time. I know we've got a bit of a delay here, so work with us, but you got to start with where these festivals are going to be. I mean, you're, you're in the know, you'd know, where can we gather and have a brew? So our normal plan uh, for more than 20 years is to have our summer festival in July, which has been in Ypsilanti for 20 years now. And this spring, when we were looking at uh, our ability to plan that event, um, the city just wasn't comfortable having any of their large events. And we certainly understand that. And so we're thinking right away, kind of turned to communities that maybe missed their festival, which uh, in, the partners that we've worked with at the at the two ballparks. So um, our partners at the Whitecaps uh, in Comstock Park, and we've had a longstanding winter beer festival that we missed this year. And we've been trying to get a festival off the ground in Traverse City with the pit spitters. So it made sense to, to look at August dates and look at both of those ballparks. And we were able to come up with dates and a plan. And so August 14th, at uh, in Comstock Park, we'll be having a, what we're calling August Beer Festival South. And then August 28th at the um, Turtle Creek Stadium in Traverse City, we'll be having the Michigan Brewers Guild August Beer Festival North. I love it. Plus the UP Fall Beer Festival uh, on September 11th too at Matson Lower Harbor Park. All these tickets, uh, what, what, for somebody who's never been to one of these, what can they expect, Scott? Well, the primary entertainment is the beer. And so there will be a, a lot of Michigan breweries pouring fresh, tasty beers. We use small cups, drink little samples. Um, it's a very social event. Everybody's in a, in a great mood and having a nice time. It's a great place to meet friends and be around other people and just enjoy an afternoon uh, sipping beer and sharing stories. It is a good time. And you've got a, a, an enthusiast membership too. I mean, are there, and it, being a member of, their, of, the, of the guild, you get VIP entrance into some of these festivals too. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah, something fun that individuals can do is join as enthusiast members. And one of the, the best benefits of that, I think, is we open the gates to the festivals an hour prior to general admission. So it's uh it, it's not very populated you can get around to try some of your favorite beers before general admission happens and for details about enthusiast membership and other benefits you can find those uh, on our website at mibeer.com and not to mention that for those for those who are really into craft beer all all the sorts of different beers out there you've got a great podcast tell us about that yeah we uh with the pandemic, we started sharing some stories that we had collected. So a number of years ago, uh, we wanted to record some of the history of the Michigan Brewers Guild, which of course is a nonprofit trade association supporting uh, the brewing, brewing industry in the state. And a series of interviews were conducted and compiled into a book we called The Rising Tide. And, and we had all this material um that we wanted to share and so we started a, a podcast where fred beltman and i introduce um the guest and there are other little tidbits but these interviews are just really a lot of fun uh even if you think you know the story there are always interesting uh, bits that that you can learn um, and and we're adding to the archive as well with current interviews so the, the podcast is Mich we call michigan's great beer state podcast you can find it at our website or anywhere that you get your podcast but it's really a fun way to look at some of the story stories in a more in-depth way that make up the michigan beer scene gotta check that out too scott thank you so much for the time this morning all the details once more on your screen for those beer festivals they are back you want all of the details you can always head up to mibeer.com we'll be right back